Earlier this year, I made a video showing you how you can download photos and videos from Google Drive to your iPhone, and over 150,000 people have watched that video. So thank you very much. But in the comments section, a lot of people have asked me to do the same video, but for Android. It is a slightly different process to on the iPhone and we're actually gonna be talking about Google Photos as well. So if you're using Google Photos and you wanna figure out how to download all of your photos before Google start charging you for it, then this is the video for you. If you find it helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out. Let's jump onto the phone and we'll get started. As you can see, I've taken a couple of test shots and uploaded them to Google Photos. We've got a couple of pictures of my camera, a couple of pictures of my keyboard, and a short video as well. If we select a picture and then press the three little dots, you'd expect there to be an option to download it, but there isn't. And if we press the share button instead, and we press more, there's lots of options here, but none of them say save to device fairly annoying. You're using Google Photos to back up all your videos and photos, but there seems to be no way to download them. But there is. So you will need to download Google Drive as well. So you'll need Google Photos and Google Drive, and then select the images that you want to download. So we're gonna select our video and all of our photos. Then what we're gonna do is press the share button at the top, and then save to Google Drive. Then we're gonna select where we want these photos to save to. So I've made a folder in my Google Drive called Photos, which is currently empty, but you will have to set this up yourself. And we're gonna select the Photos folder and press Select. Then we're gonna press Save. And then it's uploading all of those photos from Google Photos to Google Drive. This is a bit of a strange process, but it's the only way that I found that it worked. So now if we go to Google Drive, we can see that all of these images are uploading to our Google Drive, we've got our video, and we can select pretty much as many images and videos as we want, then click the three little dots in the top right hand corner, and then you can press download. 10 items will be downloaded, see notification bar for details. So we can see that they're being downloaded. And then if we go to our files app and go into images or videos, you can see that all of our images have downloaded successfully. And then you can click to open them. We're gonna open them with album. There we go. And then from there, you can save to pictures and then it pops up in your gallery. And then obviously from there, you can send it to any application that you want to. So let me just run you through that again. You wanna select your photos within Google Photos, then send them over to Google Drive. Once they've uploaded to Google Drive, select them and download them back to your device. They will show in the files application and then from there you can save them directly into your gallery. This is a bit of a weird and niche problem. Um, I don't know why Google don't allow you to just download multiple photos back to your device once you've uploaded them but I think this is a nice solution and it definitely works better than on the iPhone as you can download multiple images and videos at the same time. Like I said earlier, if this video has helped you out, I'd really appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out massively. And if you wanna ask me a question or request a video, you can do so at the link in the video description if you join my Facebook group. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again very soon.